Well, how's everybody doing today? We're going to do something a little bit different. Today is Forever Skies Cribs Edition. So why don't you come with me, step back, we're going to take a look at the Badger. Why do I call it the Badger? Well, Badgers are small, but they're very powerful. This is the base ship. I just, full warning, I have completed the entire game. But as we sit right now in early access, the game's just started. No patches come out yet. I want to show that you can do literally everything without upgrading your ship even once. Now, yes, there is a room on there because the storyline asks you to put a room. But if you look up on my left, you can see Extend Airship Balloon. I haven't done that yet. And I have a 500 capacity. So I am still on the base ship. So everything's upgraded. Dual turbine, I can reach 300 meters. Of course, I have your basic extractor. I have the extension out front so that it makes it easier to land. I have this swanky deck out here that I can sit out and just kind of, you know, look at everything. Got my water catcher. I do have two, but I usually just run with one nowadays. My dump all bin, and it's got all my lures. I've got the auto catcher, and it's got its lure. I've got all the storage you could ever want. The difference on this is I do not have a right side catwalk. I have three engines. All three are upgraded. This gets me somewhere between 89 to 97 meters or kilometers an hour, depending on. Uh, I've got the wood tone, the walnut tone look. So we're going to come in, shut our door, make it a little quieter. So I've got the pet, obviously. Um, it's got a little football up there to play with. We got a lantern to help us out in case we get lonely at nighttime. His water feeder, water and feeder, that's a RP little thing right there. Uh, I've got the large poster to kind of remind him of home a little bit. And I do have, some of you might not know about this, there is one poster at the very start of the game that you you can get, and I haven't found any other place to get it since. Uh, I did find a way to clip one of the po uh, frames through the wall to lean it, since we can only put it on a on a surface. It worked out pretty well. Of course, I have the chair. Chair's not usable. I did as much decorating as I can with what we have available. So I'm I'm quite the. Uh, lamp merchant, if you will. And uh, you can put footballs on the wall if you didn't know that. I have a 3D sculpture here, so I put an airship in front of... Uh, by the way, this is a lead zeppelin. I'll let you figure out how that's spelled. Um, so we got a nice little 3D thing going on here. This is the three stack. Back this up here. This is how you fit the maximum amount of storage in one single wall space. You use the amber shelf, you start with the bottom, you go up just to the bare minimum over it, and then you stack them together so it almost looks like it's just a thin shelf, but it actually has these uprights. This right here fits 175 spaces, and that's just that storage unit also. So, up here, I put the a moss shelf and then I found out you can clip the football into the moss shelf's uh, like opening edge, whatever you want to call that so it kind of looks like I don't know, looks looks something interesting, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe that could be your rainfall shower room if we can build a shower room someday uh, so you can see I have all the storage you could literally ever want I have anything, everything, all of it. I have all all kinds of everything, and this isn't even all the storage. Yeah, I have all the paints, too. Um, so, put some of the posters on the ceilings. I did this van dwelling style. You know, if you live in a van, you can't have all, live in an RV, you can't have all of your equipment out all at the same time. You have to store it, and I tried to make spaces, like up here's the the boudoir, the, the bedroom, the camp, the, the, the space. Then in the back is the service area or the work. 
So you've got both of our chargers. I have, for those that don't know that this light exists, it's awesome. It took me forever to find it, but it's just... I wish we could stop it midway, because I love the way, if you, you see how it shines on the wall, I'd love to be able to stop this like halfway or something, but we can't. So I've got my eating table, and it looks right out the window. I've got a, another um, frame up top, but you can't see that when you're, you know, you'd be sitting down looking out. Nice view. Um, the idea behind the tablet the notepad is that it's like that's my internet that's my my YouTube if you will while I'm sitting and eating my my meal of course got the fabricator I've got the cooking station that has the big bottle I use all big bottles I also have the upgraded oxygen tank uh, have my freezer of course uh, desk lamp I found out you can place things on the freezer it's one of the very few things you can actually set items onto uh, I did all windows back here, but I did a solid wall behind the storage. Uh, so I turned this sideways. I didn't need to. It actually looked more open when I had it with this against the wall, but you couldn't see out the window as well. So turning it sideways almost gives you like a room division, if that makes any sense. So up here, I put a Zeppelin between them, as again, is a little bit more of a... I don't know, artistic style. By the way, these lights here, they're the lights that say C for cold. It's almost a blue. So I used them as kind of like a display across the front of these boxes. It gives them a real interesting look if I do this. You can see a little bit. You see mostly on that. Anyway, back here. I did not need to put these up. I could have put another set of amber shells up high and had 50 spaces more of inventory I just don't need that much extra inventory and it looks better when it's not all the same thing I'm actually considering taking out one of these boxes and putting in the original six slot box and like angling it slightly making it look like it's a little messy because it's a little lived in right we, we use this airship all the time um, I don't know I'm, I might because the, the one outside I don't really need this it's my dump bin I could put all of these inside. I don't need, really need all this stuff, but it looks nice because it's it's off kilter, it's skewed, so it's kind of messy, kind of lived in, if if that makes any sense. So these guys, this is the kitchen area. So I've got all the kitchen supplies, right? You got your food, your water, your energy drink over here. I've got my cooking oil. I've got my spices, the the mantis gland. I don't know how spicy it would be. Then you got your wasabi, you know, you j just a little bit on top, otherwise you're, you're going, help, like the little girl, you know, just a little bit of wasabi. And then we have our drinking glasses, of course, some first aid if you put a little too much wasabi on there, and uh, again, the accent light, and yeah, that's, oh, so let me show you how this works. So right here, let's say I need to research something again. So I will pop it out, stick it down, oh, not shut my door, open up my research. You can see I have not researched the balloon core, but I have researched everything else. That shows you that it, you can fit everything in one small space. Or maybe I need to get out my analyzer and do the other two uh, viruses. I can go in here, put the other thing in there, play the mini game and be good there. The same thing with the upgrade station. I have everything upgraded, so I don't need it. And that's kind of the point. Once you're done with all these, they don't need to be out 24-7. They can just be chilling in a box. Oh, I need something. Put it out. Do something for, you know, what takes, what, 30 seconds? Then put it back in your box. It saves you on your weight. It saves you on your space. And you, in my opinion, you get a really nice-looking airship even with the base level ship all right guys thanks for watching